Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Hi, it's me, your friend Cory, and I'm hanging out with Miku. Miku, Miku. So, a little bit of an adjustment on the pattern to make her Miku, because she just came from a totally different pattern. Her hair is done. Her tie is cute. She kind of looks like she's in mid-performance, because her... Her shirt flaps are here and her arms are over there. So it kind of looks like she's a mid-twist as she's singing. I have to adjust this one eyelash. There we go. Looks a little bit stuck. This is the face that my daughter has chosen for her doll. She is so happy. I'm lucky to even have it in my hands at the moment. She's home and wants to play with her doll nonstop. So we're just going to take this and we're going to adjust these eyes just a touch. She's getting well loved. Anyways, so sorry about the lateness of my video today. I just wasn't feeling up to making a video last night. I'll explain more in a few moments, but I'm glad you're here today. So let's hang out and work on Niku. lot more going on than just Miku. So we got Miku and all she needs are the square hair ties now in pink, sorry, purpley pink and black. So we're going to start those. But there's a few other things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I was unable to make a trip out of town with my mom the other day as little tiny threw my back out. And my mom found for two dollars this bag of happiness. Now the craziest thing about this is this is actually Hobby Lobby. Canada doesn't have Hobby Lobby, so this is the first time I've ever touched any of those types of yarns before. This is from 2015. It's Yarn B something flawless. My daughter ran off with the the one um, paper. To explain what it was but it's some simply fall flawless or something like that but my goodness it is very soft and it feels really nice this i don't think is the same i think this is a cotton it feels cottony but i like the colors those are very nice and these two which have turned into a giant puddle because i had my tiny daughter really enjoys making yarn messes for me. I think this is the Hobby Lobby again. It feels about the same. Um, as for finding the colors, it's almost impossible. I tried looking and they don't have anything like this right now. Or they do and I couldn't find it. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it is pretty. And I really like this one. The purples and the greens together. With that little bit of purpley blue, wow, that's going to work up gorgeous. So I'm super excited. And my mom paid $2 for this beautiful, beautiful stack of colorful yarn. And I'm excited because I think I already know what I need to do with them. You're going to think I'm insane, but that's okay. Because you can't be an artiste without being a little bit insane. So these are my favorite, best, best ever headphones. These are Bluetooth. They were 12, or sorry, takes about 10 to 15 at most minutes to charge them. And lasts up towards to 40 to 80 hours worth of music playing, depending on how loud you have it. And it's Bluetooth, so it's wireless. I wear these all day long. Like, I'm constantly listening to music 
or listening to stories and stuff like that. And I don't need to share it all with the household. I mean, my kids aren't old enough for some of my music. And I'm starting to notice that this is starting to hear that. You don't hear that, but you can hear that. So it's starting to get to that point where it's going to start peeling soon because I sweat a lot when I wear these when I'm cleaning. These are firmly on my head. And I like these ones because, boom, I can turn them outwards. I can still hear my music and I can still hear everybody around me. And the battery. Oh, my gosh. Also, I can answer phone calls with them. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make covers. And I'm thinking I'm going to crochet some covers to go over them. I have about three other pairs in the house that need to be done. They work perfectly except for that little bit. And yes, her hair is supposed to look like this. This took me quite a while to design, but we love this little fringe up here. The eyes. Oh, I'm just really proud of her. My daughter says it's my absolute best work ever. And that's a compliment because she really, really likes my crochet. So I can't complain about that. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing headphone covers, uh, probably as Christmas gifts, as well as, you know, it also makes them a little softer. So, yesterday was a long, long day for me. Little Miss, my tiny, tiny girl, she was having a dream about pushing rocks with her legs, her little, strong, rhinoceros legs. Turned out she was actually pushing my lower back, and I have massive back problems. Um, they're especially worse after having kids, but she pushed it, and my lower back popped out. I could not do anything for her least three days it took me a long time to stretch it out that's why I couldn't go with my mom out of town I just could not handle being on the bus for over an hour I needed to stretch every like 10-15 minutes massage heat cold all the all the fun stuff and this is not a new injury this has been a long-term injury for most of my life uh, a long time ago I was like seventh grade we were doing the long or when you were doing track and field and you have this big post to jump over, you fly, you run at it, you jump in the air, and your whole body goes over this and you land on a big, large mat. I did it three or four times and I missed the mat three times, landing flat on my back. I messed up my back for life. Then a car accident when I was 18, told I would never have kids because my back would never be able to support them. And I had to work out really hard to have a strong enough back. And now I am definitely paying for it. But anyway, these are the things I've already known about myself and that I have to deal with. So I have. And I do stretches and exercises and lift weights and all that kind of stuff. Nice and slow. Take it easy and try not to hurt myself. So we walked to the library, which is about three blocks away. It's about a 12 minute walk. So again, not a big deal. It's all flat. No running, no stomping, no nothing. Walking at uh, my little girl's speed, so not very fast. And my back was killing me last night. I was having full body, well, lower half of my body, having uncontrollable muscle spasms to the point where I was, I, my daughter couldn't sleep because I, it was spasming so hard. And it shouldn't be. It was a simple walk. So we're not sure if it's my new shoes, which should be fine. I've worn them before and they didn't hurt, but I'll have to investigate this a little more. So I definitely couldn't get a video done last night. So I apologize again for being late. I'm not normally that person. Anyway, so we went to the library and there was a big to do because they were they've moved the kids section. And it sounded like from what we heard in the rumor mill that they were getting rid of the kids section, which was really disconcerting and um, not okay. So a lot of people complained and we have figured that out. They're not. They just moved it. They're getting a real librarian now. So while we were there, they had a couple crochet books. This is Alexandria's Garden Vegetables, 30 crochet vegetable patterns. So this is Amigurumi. Um, there were some really cute things in there, and this is by Carrie Lord. Let's see what it was, the copyright for this one is. 
I'm not going to be able to show you any of the actual patterns, but this book came out in... My glasses, where are they? Do, 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 do. 2023. So this is really, really new. And... I don't know. Peppers. I love this derpy little potato. I'm going to have to make that potato. Uh, quite a few of them. Maybe with faces, maybe without, but I really liked him. I thought he was cute. Carrots. More carrots. A leek. I'm not even sure what that is. Parsnip. Parsnip. So there's quite a few to look at. Oh, the pickle. I liked the pickle. The pickle was super cute. I mean, I can make them with legs, without legs. I also liked that one. The peas and the pods. That one made me laugh. Just the shape of him. He's just really funny. Anyway, so I took this book out to do some amigurumi reading. See if there's anything I like. And then I went back because my mom got me that one. And I saw this one. And I'm really excited about this one. Granny Squares. This is by Susan Pinner. And let's see here. Where is... Uh-huh. Crochet accessories. Natural toddlers. Okay. I really like that picture. That was really pretty. And you were published in 2013. So just to give you an idea of what I'm looking at here is... Ooh, look at all those lovely granny squares. So this book gives you a rundown on granny squares, the history of them, everything from some vintage, which is super fun. Um, things about different types of yarn, hooks, different projects you could do. So this book was really interesting. So I got this for some nightcap reading. This, however, where did you go? You should be right about here. It's got me thinking. This right here. Maybe not exactly this pattern. But I have a bigger pillow. And I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to cover in it. And I think I've come up with my solution. However, I think what I want to do is I want to do it with the skull granny squares. And use neon and black. I think that would suit my needs. And maybe some gray in there too. My sheets are gray, so yeah, talking about yarns, techniques. So if you ever find this in the library or in your travels, this is definitely a very, a very, very good book. Some patterns, some ideas, tablet cases, coasters, felting, shopping bags, just all sorts of fun stuff. And yes, I know you can find most of this online, but sometimes you know a book. In your hand is a lot of fun. And this picture is just really cool. I really like that. Eee! I want that as a picture on my wall. Anyways, so I actually got myself a couple books at the library, if you can believe that. And just one moment. All right. So these are the two colors for her hair, hair ties. All right. So I need to size them on her. I did them, already did these on the costume, so I have a really good idea of what I'm going to do. The black is on the bottom, and the purpley pink is on the top, so we're going to start there. Let me sit down for a moment. I think we're going to try chaining four. So one, two, three, four. Now let's see here. Four is going to be cutting it a little bit close. Let's go six. Four. Five. Six. Okay. So we'll do six on each side. We'll do two in each corner. It will end up square. It's a little odd how I did this last time. So give me a sec here while I try to remember. 
Now that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to have to No, that's not what I did. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do one, back in, and we do two. And then it's one, Two, three, four, five, six. And we do one. We'll go back in here. Do a second one. See how it's becoming a nice little square? It's the craziest thing. I can't believe how easily this worked out. And like I said, it took me a little while to come up with. Um, I didn't get this from anybody. This one I actually did for my own brain. And I'm sure somebody has already done this before. And I'm glad great minds think alike. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let me do one. We go back in. And we get our next one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier because we are actually attaching. So we go one, and we put that through there. Now we're going to do it this way. We're going to go like this. And we're just going to slip stitch that in. And we're going to start right here. Let's not slip stitch it in. Let's actually try just doing a single crochet. So that's one. Two. Three. Then we go in here. And believe me, you don't have to be perfect when you're doing this. We're just gonna slip. I'll do one more right here. So we always do two in the corners. That's how you're gonna keep your corners. I messed up with them on the hat. One of them I did not do two in the corners and it really showed. So I did two rows of the black and two rows of the purple just so it's really quite there and will help hold up the ponytails just a bit higher. Because my goodness that girl has high up ponytails. then two in this corner. So we go one and two. And that's how we keep our corners. And if we put it on our head, 
We'll have to feed the hair through it. Which is fine because I did her hairline so badly that I actually had to make a wig to put on over it. Oh, that's why everything looks the way it is. But I find I found it actually worked in my favor because it actually makes her her hair look a little more realistic, I guess. But yeah, that's going to come up very nicely. And it's going to be very noticeable and very cute. So we'll sew that on when I'm done. And she'll be finished. Thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box. And I will see you again very soon.